people of the interwebs! Welcome back to my Let's Play of Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage for Ergognica, a really good old game no one cares about, even though it's not. I know it's not. Spyro! Ripto's- Yeah, 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 we saw this in the last episode. So, here we are in the third and final hub world. And, of course, waiting for us is one Moneybags, who has the last well, move to share. Spyro, it comes down to this. There's only one more thing I can teach you, and like all the best things, it doesn't come cheap. Yeah, it doesn't, and I think that's the only time he admits to not... to, like, not giving us a deal, like, a great deal on a thing. Anyway. The head bash move is very simple, really. All you must do is jump, then press the triangle button. You'll find the head bash may help you out on some tasks that were impossible before. Remember, just jump, then triangle. Good luck! Same could be said about swimming, yet you didn't say that then. They really talk up the head bash thing. I must say. You'll find the head Okay. Yeah, and that's how this door opens. We have rocks to break. With our heads. Now this is a cool move, I have to admit. It's... It's fun. Jump, triangle, and you like do several flips in the air and then smash stuff. And you don't have to do it on like... Head bash specific things. You can do it on anything. It just takes a little while. <laughs> it's like a third attack, basically. I... I don't know, can it kill things? A uh, little penguin. Eh, forget it. Anyway, you see this big rock here that we can only get to from up here? It had an orb in it. Little things like that, you know? I really do like this whole rock thing. Because, I mean, they look like rocks. I mean, they're not, like, pre-rendered. I guess. They're not part of the background, so you could be... Forgiven for noticing right away that there's something about them. And you do have to break one just to open the door to the rest of the level here. Oh, by the way, this little trail of gems leads over here. Which then leads up here. Which can bring you straight to the top for absolutely no reason. But we do have to go here, because I think... Alright, Spyro! You've got the orbs! Defeat of Ripto is only moments away, right? Right? Well, anyway, good luck. He's right through this door. It is not moments away, sorry. It's just that there are some gems in here that you can only get by opening this door. It's kind of cheap, frankly. So anyway, as always, I am going to go through this hub world and get the stuff. And then I'm going to... Go back to Autumn Plains and do the things I couldn't do because I didn't know Head Bash before. It's including Fracture Hills, so yay, more Fracture Hills in this video. Woo! So yeah, this is the Winter Tundra. It's not really much of a tundra, honestly. It's more like the... Well, I, I guess there aren't any trees. But it's got grass, so it's still more like a Tega biome than a Tundra biome. Minecraft reference. I can see you've learned the value of orbs, Spyro. This touchy gate should work perfectly with the help of your impressive orb collection. We're not going in there right now. I think, actually that if I leave the world without going in there, this will deactivate and he'll still be standing here. We'll We're see, I counting guess. on you, Spyro, and I'm doing my best to get that super portal working again. I promise. Thank you. You're very enthusiastic about your job, Professor. That's always nice when someone's enthusiastic about what they do. That is a good thing. What's in here, I believe, is another portal that can only be activated by the collecting of orbs that we already have. Again, part of the problem with knowing this game, like, every inch of it, is that 
I don't have to really work to unlock things. Like, I have enough gems to buy anything money bags might ask of me right away. Um, I have enough orbs to open the final boss right away. Well, it's some consolation that you've collected so many orbs. My high-tech portal here will take you to Cloud Temples. That's a fun level. I'm so disappointed. My super portal was coming along marvelously. Yeah, I think we're supposed to see this before we go to the other side, because theoretically, until you have a thousand gems to buy the head bash move, you can't go through. But, again, like I was just saying, I know ev this every inch of this game, so there's no challenge in having enough gems for things, or enough orbs for things, and it's kind of game-breaking, honestly, to know everything. Like, I wish... I wish I could just forget, like, all of the gameplay in this game, like, all the secrets and stuff. Like, I don't want to forget playing it, and I don't want to forget, you know, the impact it had on my life, and so on and so forth. But if I could just forget all the secrets of this game completely, if I could just erase those and just those, I'd still be taking away memories. But, like... If I could keep my wonderment at finding them without remembering what what or where they were, maybe? I don't know. One last speedway adventure for you, Spyro. It's not that expensive, you know. You've chosen wisely. I bet a quick dragon like you will win your money back in no time. Yeah, this is gonna stay open. You've chosen wisely. I bet a- oh. Okay. It's always nice when they have new flavor text and you just stick around for it. So anyway, yeah. Knowing this game inside and out. Ups and downs. But I think what makes a really good game is that even if you do know every inch of it, it's still fun to play. Like, mostly. Uh, no, 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 no. That is not what I wanted. Oh, whew. Okay. So over here... There's another orb. I really like the orbs that are just bouncing that you can just pick up by exploring. It's so much more fun than, like, earning them from NPCs. But you can only do it in hub worlds. Because, like... Like I said at the start of this Let's Play, it takes some of the wonderment out of finding things if you're not finding things that have been like stowed away and hidden. You're finding people who will give you things. So anyway, there's one last secret in this hub world. And it is my favorite secret ever. Because I found it by accident. So you go along this wall, right? And you're walking along. Well, and you're falling off again. Sorry. Hey, get out of my way. Sorry about that. Let's try this again. So. You're walking along this wall here. And you're walking along. And you go over here. And you think, you know, there's got to be something here, right? So you go here, but there's nothing here. And then you slip. And you fall into this water. That I think expands the entire length of this side of the wall. Yeah, I think it does. And you think, why would there be non-fatal water here to catch me? Like, there must be a way out. The developers wouldn't just, like, make a hole that you couldn't escape from even by dying. So, since there's nothing around... You go down. And then you go up. I wish this river carried you along. That'd be neat. And here is an orb. An orb I actually did see from down here before I found the way to it. 
But yeah, that's how I found that one. I was just walking along the wall and with my childish reflexes, I slipped off and I fell into the water and I was very surprised. And that was just my line of reasoning that got me out of there. So yeah, we're done with this hub world. Probably my favorite hub world, despite its pretty small size, frankly. But anyway, we can go back to Fracture Hills now. Woo! I used to call it Ottoman Plains because I didn't realize that the N was silent and that that was how you spell autumn. Even when they said autumn, I was like, no, it's spelled Ottoman. Uh, where am I going? I'm going in. Right. So yes, first and foremost, back to Fracture Hills. Love it. With the dancing piggies. Shoot. There was something I forgot to say during the episode of this level that I thought that I, when I played it back and I was like, oh shoot, I didn't say this thing. But I can't remember what it is. Dang it. Oh, replay intro. Oh, I remember. <laughs> I remember now. Okay. I love the music. I used to love bagpipe music for some reason. Thank you for releasing me. There are still some sages trapped in stone. Yes, there are. I remember now. No, shut up. I don't care. Um, burn all the trees. <laughs> oh, something else as well. These guys, they have eyebrows. They're made of leaves. Here, I'll show you later. Dance, piggy! <laughs> I don't think I'll ever get over that. <laughs> oh, hello. Yeah, his eyebrows are leaves. So sure about his. But like there are little leaves that come off the trees that eat you to indicate that they're different. And they're the same as the eyebrows. Hey, let me see? Those little leaves hanging off of his branches are the same as his eyebrows. It's neat. I'm also about to die. So... Oh, that's not what I went back for. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for doing this entire level again when I really just need to get to the hunter thing. But I, I like this level. I like it so much. I love being here. It's so... It's so good. It's so nice and open. It's so alive. Did that? Now 
No, you can st still see the beehive from here. Oh no, not hiccups. Oh. Please, not hiccups. Not during a video. I like the tree's final pissed off expression. No! Oh no! Pig won't get to dance! <laughs> I love it going around the bridge, it's so silly. Like- It's great to be free! Now there is only one satyr left to rescue! Like the musical notes are... Physical things. I wonder if that sequence of notes that flies through the air is actually the sequence of notes in the music. Ah! Well. But yeah, the, the beehive trees, they like caress the beehive when they hit you. Glitch! I'm not gonna do the fawn thing again. <laughs> it's so weird! Okay. Here's why I'm doing the, these again. I'm gonna show you why. There's a reason. Now that you have rescued all the satyrs in Fracture Hills, you ought to go into the temple. No mm. need, but here's the thing. Music can calm the savage beast, and bagpipe music can break solid rock. And that kind of changes everything. The fact that bagpipe music can break solid rock, because what are these earth shapers made of? They're made of solid rock. So like, the ending thing? Where one of those earth shapers kind of starts to like the music? That doesn't make sense, because I mean, it's like a legitimate problem. If people here play bagpipes and the na and the other natives are made of the material that bagpipe music breaks, like this isn't just a matter of annoying music. This is like music that is physically dangerous to these things. And again, we're taking a side in a genuine conflict. But I didn't realize just how genuine it was until. I thought of that. I put that in an annotation in the first video, I think. But, you know, I prefer to say it. It's a point to be made. Chargy, chargy. I want to kill the other Earth Shapers. Because I'm weird like that. And I swear I did not let go of the butt. It's weird how it can sometimes just cancel. Whoa! I don't know where I'm going! Okay. Good of it to cancel on me there. Ow. Will not laugh at me. So what we're doing here is like we're breaking these things so that they can't be bothered by the bagpipe music. That's just that's just odd. Like back in the days of Spyro, video games were like. Well, basically, genocide runs of everything. There are monsters here that can hurt you, and you're supposed to kill them. You're just supposed to. 
And then if you think about it, also I think they kind of melt in the lava. Like I think I saw his legs start to like melt. Let's see if we can see that on the last one. Oh no, is he? Okay, now. I thought he might be glitched into the wall there. Okay, so yeah, let's look at his... Yeah, I couldn't tell if he was sinking or melting. Anyway! So that's all the Earth Shapers there. Now it's finally time to do the things I didn't do in the first video of this level. And we're over 20 minutes. I am taking way too long with this video. I'm so sorry, ladies and gentlemen of the interwebs. I just like this level way too much. Okay. So in here is an alchemist. Not sure what he's supposed to be. Is he a satyr too? I can't tell. He looks too bird-like. I've been experimenting with this potion. I'd like to test it out, but the earth shapers out there have made going out a bit difficult. Could you kindly offer me an escort? Uh... You're asking for it, so it's not exactly offering. It's just, like, agreeing. On the other hand, look at the little sparks coming out of the jar. Great! Just keep those earth shapers away from me and I'll take this potion to Hunter. Yeah, I don't know what he is. Or if he's even supposed to be anything. He looks too bird-like. <laughs> Four star difficulty. Ha 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 ha. See, the knockback makes them flinch. So they can't hit him. Keep moving. Camera. Okay. So you go this way. But he decides to turn back for some reason. That cost me a lot of victories. And this Earth Shaper never even gets a shot. There you go, over and done. Man, do my feet feel better. Would you look after this for me? As long as you're here, would you like to help me take out these stubborn earth shapers? His fur is a strange color on this level. His eyes, too. It's, it's like a slightly orange filter was put over the entire sprite. I wonder why. <laughs> Kick earth shaper butt. That's the actual question. All right. When I shoot an earth shaper with an arrow, you head bash him before he gets back up. Remember, head bash by jumping and then press triangle. Yet, yeah, they remind you also of how to do the head bash way too many times. I guess because it's not as easy to remember as climbing by jumping at a ladder and swimming by charging in the water. Like, it's a, it's a new sequence of buttons, I guess. We have to get all of them at once, or they'll just invite more of their friends. Let's go!
focusing. Sorry. As long as you're here. Lottie, blah blah, same thing as before. It, you really have to remember what the sequence is with the Earth Shapers in both of these mini games. It's not easy to remember. And I guess the head bash can kill things. But I don't know if that's like just specific to this or if you can kill regular enemies as well. Shoot. Okay. Now we go back to this guy. But hey! Having the sound off is also annoying because I can't hear when as Hunter shoots. Shut up. Mm. LPR's luck is not helping me here. And sometimes you have to wait for him to shoot and sometimes you have to get ahead of him. We make a great team. Here, I was going to give this to the alchemist, but I'm a bit annoyed at him at the moment. Why would you give it to him? I'm the one who needs it. And that's everything here. We have to leave now. So sad. We still have Shady Oasis to finish, so... Also, you can just do this. Nice and quick. And Shady Oasis! And that'll be a video. If I can just not run into things, or fall off the bridge, or anything. And now we're back into levels that are linear. So we have to follow this little dude. We do need the... Um, thing, the power up for the thing we need to do, so. Why don't these things want to hurt the hippo? What, what did he just do? Did he just throw his sword? Okay, forgot to get this flavor text. I guess you'll have to glide across to this berry bush. Yeah. Not really the best flavor text, but I missed it last time, so... Boom. Also, why gulp it down if you like it for its taste? You can't taste a berry if you just swallow it without chewing. There's so much wrong with this level. Probably one of my least favorites, honestly. Sorry, don't have much to say. Ah! I 
gonna sneak up on you. No, no, I'm not. Apparently. Fantastic. I don't know how I did that. Camera! I think they can recover from that as well. Tempted to shoot the hippo. He killed it! Shoot! Oh well. Okay, now we're down here. And I can't get the gems because I don't have any sparks. Lovely! Um, peacock! I swear! Fodder enemies dropping entire lives? is way more common in the third game than it is in this one. Oh! Hush my mouth! <laughs> that was pretty funny. Yay, a funny thing happened in this video! Now, if only I could get back up there. Like, I wish that thing where, like, a whirlwind activates once you've been up to a place. Wish that happened. That would be nice. But no. I shouldn't have done this. Sparks wasn't worth it. Especially since the thing we're about to do involves invincibility, so... Not worth it. And we're past 32 minutes, so very much not worth it. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen of the interwebs. I'm running out of steam really fast, too. Anyway! We go down... And we go over here. My eight brothers have been trapped in rock and will sink in the lava if you can't break them free. Head bash the rocks by jumping, then pressing triangle, and follow my lead. Follow me, and remember, jump and then press triangle to head bash. And they keep reminding you of that. Also, Grundy's a she. The only sister in her family. I have a big family, but you've managed to save all of them. Take this thing, too. I'm too tired to carry it anymore. Really? That's a random excuse. Not that I'm not glad to have it, just... Whirlwind? Nope. Doesn't matter. Okay. There's one last thing I want to do while I'm here. Something else I forgot. Because the sound's off. Out of my way, pillar! Seriously? Didn't get a knock back there? Damn it. Okay.
so this music. Bad dance, skills, bad dance. That's what I always heard. And then when they use this music elsewhere in other games, it's like, no, this is the Skilos Badlands music. Is it Skilos or Skelos? I genuinely don't know. I think it's Skilos. They ever say? I don't remember. I'm stupid. Sorry. Every level contains two to four. Uh, first hub world has four, second hub world has two, and third hub world has three. It's nice. Okay. So that'll do it. Yikes, long video, sorry. Um, but that will do it for this video. So, thank you so very much for watching if you did. I really do appreciate it. And I look forward to seeing you next time.